what's good guys in today's video i'm going to teach you how to get this right here the hawker's tomb i have been able to get the hawker's tomb from two different npcs in my game so far i've played this on multiple playthroughs and i've tried to figure out all the different npcs that give you this specialization and i found about two to three people so let's talk about them the first person i was able to find that gave me the hawker's tomb was outside of Vernsworth over in the checkpoint rest town area his name is george He's a beastrin from Bakbatal. He's usually standing right outside of the sword and staff inn, so he should be about right here. He's a big kitty, and when you walk up to him, you can check out his wares, but you're more interested in what items you want to give him. There's two different things that you might want to be giving this man as gifts. You want to focus on interesting items or fancy items. Interesting items can be anything from bones, to claws to horns and fancy items can be anything from griffin claws the great griffin claws or mishappen eyes and freakish manes those are going to be some great gifts that you want to give him you can give him the same gift over and over it doesn't necessarily matter but as soon as you give him about one gift a day go ahead and rest at a bench four times or go into the inn and sleep for a day and go back and give him another gift after about three to four gifts, he should instantly hand you over the Hawker's Tomb. Now let's talk about the Hawker's Tomb. The reason why you wanna get a Hawker's Tomb, you wanna give your pawn the specialization so that they can become a merchant. Every time you stand at a campsite or are sitting at a campfire, you can talk to your pawn, they will be able to buy the items off of you. So if you're going to the money cave that is over in Bak Batal and you've been farming a whole bunch of glimmers coal you can actually just go right over to the close by campfire with your pawn sell all the items right to your pawn and then go right back into the cave if you would like to do so another use case for this would be if you're actually farming different types of caves out there for different materials for upgrading you could actually go to caves and farm all types of copper silver and gold ore and then sell off the excess ore that you don't need to your pawn at a nearby campsite. It's some pretty amazing use cases, so make sure that you're getting the most out of it while you have it. Your pawn is only allowed to learn one specialization at one time, and you are unfortunately are not allowed to forge this item. If you try to forge it, it'll turn into the Gawker's Tomb, I think it was, and it's absolutely useless. Another NPC out in the game that may be able to give you this Hawker's Tomb is over in Burnsworth. If we come over to Burnsworth and you look at this guy right here, Mr. Bjorn. Mr. Bjorn is going to be sitting at his armory. And I didn't even know that he was a wandering merchant, but apparently he's some type of wandering merchant. If you talk to my mans here who has his big little fluffy rosy cheeks, he's extremely happy to see me all the time because I've been giving him all types of gifts. But yeah, he's another NPC that is able to give you this tomb. Whenever you're curious about what exactly an NPC likes to get their affinity up, all you have to do is go over into your history, go to NPC, and then you can go and filter out exactly what city you want to look for your NPC in. We're in Vernsworth right now, but let's just say we didn't remember his name. Or... We remembered his name, but we just don't want to scroll through all of these names. You can actually turn on the filter and go turn off females, turn off all the beast and dwarfs and elves, and boom, he should be able to pop up right there on the top. Born is a human that lives in Vernworth, and he likes beautiful items and fancy items. A couple of beautiful items that you might be interested in giving to him are going to be a bunch of flowers, noon bloom, sun bloom. Those are the easiest items to give him. He also will take items like copper ore, silver ore, gold ore, like any type of ore basically, he most likely will take it from you. And he takes the rare items like the worm crystals and stuff, but I would never give this man that. But that being said, make sure you give him about three items to get his affinity all the way up and make sure you're resting in between each gift that you give him. That's a rule of thumb that you always wanna to bring to the table when you're giving any NPC gifts. You don't wanna constantly give them gifts over and over back to back because it won't do anything for their affinity. And that right there is two pretty awesome NPCs that can give you the Hawker's Tomb and Dragon's Dogma 2. There's one more person that I think is capable of giving you a Hawker's Tomb off the top of my head, 
and that is Dootley and Mel. The reason why I think that he's able to give you the Hawker's Tomb or at least some type of specialization is because he's a Wandering Merchant. Wandering Merchants have a high chance of giving you some type of specialization tomb, so it might be worth a try to see if these two don't work to test him to see if he works. And let me know down in the comment section below if you tried to get a Hawker's Tomb from Dootley or what tomb he gave you in the first place. I would be very curious to find out. But if you like what we do here in the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and a whole lot more for Dragon's Dogma 2. In my next video, I'm going to teach you how to get the Forager's Tomb and the Legitizens Tomb. But this was your boy Emma SSHD for now though. I'm out of here.